Hey guys, what's up? Hirsch here, bringing you guys a Slayer Guide for Blue Dragons. Using my methods I'll be showing you in this video, you could get roughly 25 to 30k experience per hour. And as a whole, I just really want to get it over with this whole um, Slayer series you got going on because as soon as I get done with all the Slayer monsters I plan to do, and that's pretty much everyone, at least for the um, at least for the ones that carried all the signs, because I think with those it should pretty much cover all the general monsters anything too low uh, it's probably a little bit more simple and people will probably catch on without having a guide but for this method it shows you like what's probably the best places not the best but probably one of the possible best places and for blue dragons the possible best place is the um, it is cradle slayer dungeon and I suggest it because people can't slay the monster that are in there unless they have it on the task and it's and it's quite rare that for every world be populated with that uh that slayer monster of choice anyways we'll be killing blue dragons and this is how my inventory looks um you can possibly range them and i totally love the new updates i look like a complete badass oh my gosh it's, it's just sick i actually actually appreciated this besides the fact that i can't really recognize half the stuff in my bank anymore Ugh. and especially infinity boots have you guys actually seen the infinity boots after update they slaughtered it I was so disappointed. Anyways, we're drifting off track. You can actually either range or melee this. I've never really tried mage, but I'm pretty sure to Gano. I mean, um, wow. It's actually on the top of my head. The polypore staff could actually probably do well against it because the polypore staff is absolutely beast for some reason. And I just don't comprehend it. But I prefer melee. It's a little bit faster, especially when you have the chaotic rapier or or a stab weapon. I don't really suggest it though. If you um if you don't have the chaotic rapier, the uh, CLS or the whip works just fine in my opinion. If you're ranging um you know either black dehyde or full void. Full void is quite actually quite effective. Um, but it's, it's totally up to your mo uh, more of a personal preference. Um, in my suggestion, I suggest you do melee because it definitely speeds up the task, and that's probably the end goal. You just want to probably you know get through each task as fast as you can and before I was actually making each guide a power slaying guide and I realized that's not realistic for everybody because not everyone have the funds especially currently at this time because since bonus experience weekends coming up it's probably a little bit more difficult to afford like overloads and stuff like that since like all the herbs are being like stocked up by mergers but anyways melee setup if you are having a dragon defender and not an anti or a dragon fire shield um you, you definitely need super anti fires or you will get raped in the face <laughs> so don't forget those if you chose a defender route and that's probably the best in my opinion because it'll definitely speed up your tasks and everything else is probably general slayer helm already cloak for the stab bonus bandos for the rapage boots and gloves call answer gloves and the Tazar, the Tuckle Zoe, probably the best ring in the game. Definitely outranks all the new, uh, the old uh, DK rings, unless you have them I. Too lazy for that right now. And my spec weapon of choice always being the D Claws, of course. All right, let's get right into it. Also, I have my inventory. Totally forgot about it. I have uh, two prayer renewals. Uh, definitely helps me save on the prayer pots. I also have a few more prayer pots inside my invo. If you don't have access to soul split, you'll you'll just bring a couple extra food. But since I have access to soul split, I will just you know soul split my way up in case I get low. I have extremes. I won't be. I just. I mean, there's certain tasks I'll show you which tasks are decent to overloads. But I I'll try not to overload each task anymore because that's not realistic in the game. Not everyone has access to it. And of course, super anti fires. I have some winter story scrolls because. I like to bank the bones and I might possibly also be banking the hides because I know people need to hide since the bonus experience weekend is coming but it's totally based on what's going on in the game at the time it will depend on all if you'll be either taking both bones bones or hides but th that is all on you because I know some people prefer just a power slate straight through and they don't pick up anything but that's just stupid in my opinion because I'm not rich like that so pick up the bones and the hides and that's pretty much it. Um, pretty much you could teleport to the Curdell's dungeon if you have a ferocious ring. If you do not, you have to jump inside the whirlpool um, next to Barbarian Outposts. And that's pretty much how you get here. And I believe it is the fourth room in, I think. I think it's before Gargoyles or Abbey Demons. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, using this method, as I mentioned before, you can get 25 to 30k experience per hour. It's... um. It's decent, 
and I mean the drops you're always guaranteed at least a 2k drop oh look someone's here um I don't normally enjoy crashing people for blue dragons but this is just for a guide purpose normally if I was just I don't know, doing my own thing I probably would just hopped wells because I just don't like disturbing people and if you have access to uh um, to curses uh, turn berserker on you know it always helps to have that 15% longer boost for your potions it's uh, it definitely helps you know saves a little bit of money and you know uh, speed up your kills because your boost stays at a little bit higher pace per hour and yeah I mean you always have the chance of getting a visi but uh, knowing my luck uh, my luck especially I will probably never ever see a visi from here uh, the only visi I ever seen was from Frosty's so Hopefully, you know, luck drills my way, but I try to expect a daily video, um, and this will not, uh, that will not stop my, uh, my Road to Elysian uh, series, because I know people have been enjoying it, people do enjoy longer videos, and that's what I've been trying to do, but I don't want it to come to the point where I'm just making a long video with pretty much no content in it, but, you know, tell me if you guys, if these types of videos do help, because I do enjoy making them. And I do have other plans to make some bossing guides. Uh, probably won't be high level because, you know, uh, not probably if you're high level, you probably won't be needing any guides at all. So probably low level bosses like Mole, TDs, uh, King Black Dragon, Kill Fight Queen. I haven't been to Kill Fight Queen in the longest of times. So I definitely have to pay them a visit. But I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Blue Dragons are pretty straightforward. You're always guaranteed a little bit of profit. And these are probably one of the few tasks I don't really can, and, and I, I really don't suggest you do do either, because the blue dragons and underneath the tabula layer is just absolutely packed with bots, and it's it's just ridiculous. Uh, and I definitely start seeing a lot more bots start reappearing in the game. It's uh, it's very discouraging, but um, yeah, it's just it's just discouraging the fact that um, their new little quote unquote optimist system is just not working at all. But, you know, I don't want to carry on this video any longer than it is. Expect another Slayer Guide tomorrow and possibly another episode of my Road to Elysian Spirit Show. But thanks, you guys, for watching. If this guide helped you in any way, shape, or form, please show your support by leaving me a like and a comment. And a comment is in the fact that if you have a question or something you would like to tell me, if you don't want to leave it below, you can always inbox me. I always reply to all my inboxes. I always take my time out of my day to do so because you guys are my subscribers and you guys are the thing I'm working towards. I just want to try to make you guys happy. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.